Remember this guy? The human head weighs eight pounds. This is him now. to the channel if you are new here please hit the subscribe button and the bell button to get a notification whenever I drop a video the goal is to be able to drop at least one video every week if you're new to the channel welcome to celebrity genetics what is celebrity genetics so celebrity genetics is a series in this channel where we appreciate different celebrity physiques and we try to figure out where they would fit in the fitness industry Today we're going to be talking about Jonathan Lipnicki, who is an actor. You might remember him from his role in Jerry Maguire. He talked too much. No, 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 talking is only a primitive form of communication. It's fun talking to you. Bye, Ron. Jerry! There's going to be stats. So Jonathan was born October 22, 1990, which makes him 31 years this year. According to an article written by MD Daily in March of 2021, Jonathan is five foot eight and weighs about 154 pounds. Something that we do know about Jonathan, thanks to this article by ESPN, that I will I will put the link in the description box if you want to go check it out. But Jonathan was a really active kid growing up. He did MMA, he did boxing, he did jujitsu, he did water polo, played basketball, played baseball, he did a whole bunch of stuff. So this kid was very athletic. So he doesn't take a lot of physique pictures and um, like shirtless pictures growing up, so we don't really have so much material to go over to look at his progression. However, I went through his entire Instagram. This is his Instagram account if you want to go give him a follow. So this is a picture of him while he was playing water polo. And you can tell he's a kid here. He's like in his teens. So this is a picture of him in 2006. He is 26 years old in this picture. He might not look big, but he looks very aesthetic. And you don't have to be big to look aesthetic. It's 2014. He's it's eight years in the future. He is 28 years old. He's still looking pretty much. He's looking like he add a little bit more size, a little bit more size, but he also adding add on a little bit of fat because his abs is not as detailed. But his chest is still looking good. His abs are looking amazing. His legs not so much, but <coughs> it's still a great, it's still a great physique. So this is a picture of him from 2012, which I personally, of all the pictures I'm going to show today, I personally think 2012 is his best physique that he's ever had. Everything after 2012, he kind of maintained that physique and honestly, maybe just add on a little bit of fat. But who really cares? However. His physique looks phenomenal. He's pretty pale. He's not bulky, but he has a lot of he has a lot of cuts. He has great abs. He has great chest. He has a good chest. He has great abs. His obliques are absolutely slicey, which is just phenomenal, honestly. All right, strength. What is the most amazing thing in Jonathan's physique? I would say. It's his abs and his oblique. I won't even say his obliques look better than his abs. The obliques just come in. They're just good straight lines right into his abs. So it makes his physique just so much more amazing. Let's talk about his weakness. It's his abs as well. It's kind of funny because like his strength is his weakness as well. If you want to look really aesthetic, you want to have a small waist and a bigger shoulder. Fortunately for him, when he gains a little bit of fat, makes his midsection a little makes his midsection wider than his shoulder width but at the end of the day he still looks good even when his body fat is higher his abs are still showing now that's a blessing so where would jonathan fit in the fitness industry honestly he's already kind of showed us where he would fit he's really 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 into mma and boxing while I was going through his Instagram, there are several videos of him like really killing it in the gym when he's training. Hey! 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 
Honestly, he kind of reminds me of Canelo. He really loves doing MMA, so I'm gonna give it to him. If he wasn't an actor, he would be an MMA fighter. He would be a boxer. This video is kind of short because we don't have a lot of material to go off of to talk about his physique. We just have a select few pictures that we can go through. I was researching on him. I watched this interview and I saw several videos of a podcast and all the stuff that he's done. I think he has a really, really good message about fitness. Little bits at a time you can make things better and it doesn't have to be, you know, jumping into something head first. That's why when like I talk to people who are like, hey, you know, like I want to do this or I want to do this uh, fitness wise and lose weight. And I always tell them maybe like look for something that you enjoy first. Like yeah. don't go and be like, I want to be a power lifter. You know, like you, they set these ridiculous standards. They either get hurt, they either quit immediately or they, they you know, they, they mess up in some way where they end up upset. And, you know, and I think the biggest thing you can do is find things that relate to you. Like, I, you know, might not like the same training you do. You might not like the same training I do, but we both found things that still continue to help us grow. If you like this format of videos, feel free to check out the previous Celebrity Genetics. I'm going to put a card on the screen that is going to be a playlist of all of the Celebrity Genetics. Feel free to go check them out. Drop a comment, drop a like. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.